Coast, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, Saturday this week. We'll have the extended forecast for that in just a few moments. And for Win viewers, that's where we leave 10 News First. Your local Win News Bulletin is next. Across far north Queensland, this is Win News. Tonight, desperate pleas to address our affordable housing crisis. Barron River state candidates fire up over environmental policy. And an award-winning child safety advocate shares his story. Good evening. Welcome to Win News. I'm Lincoln Humphreys. Also tonight, the Dockers dash Melbourne's finals hopes, dazzling fans with a 16-point win at Kazali's. Hope tonight nearly $3 billion in still-to-be-allocated state borrowings will go towards addressing our affordable housing crisis. Roughly 2,500 people across our region are sleeping rough, with demand for affordable properties only growing through the pandemic. A $4 billion top-up to state borrowings offering fresh help for the far north with our city suffering the swiftest blow to jobs numbers at the onset of the pandemic. Those most exposed to international tourism, the Gold Coast, Cairns and Sunshine Coast. The LNP isn't satisfied with the spending update. This is just an election slush fund that they want to use to spread confetti of borrowed money around the, the state and in Cairns to win votes. It is an absolute farce. They have, it, is, it is the furthest thing from the truth. The Prime Minister has said states need to borrow. The Reserve Bank of Australia has said the states need to borrow. It's already ruling out raising taxes heading into the election. We have to look at the balance sheet. We have to see where we're at. But we are not having any more taxes and we will work with what we have. But with only a quarter of the state's war chest allocated, some want further stimulus to be a safety net for the most vulnerable. We would like to have seen um, some strong statements about a growth in housing stock, uh, which we're still hopeful we might hear leading up to the 31st of October. Support the financial wellbeing of Queenslanders, create jobs and make sure that we have a strong social services network that can cushion the blow. The Cairns MP will this week ask Minister Mick de Brenny for extra funding for social housing. I'm raising the fact that whether we can actually get additional funds to keep it going. With unemployment tipped to peak at 9% in December, constructing new dwellings could deliver dual benefits. The really big investment in building more social and affordable housing to deal with the very long um, waiting lists that currently exist. That is a boost to um, the building and construction industry and as is any infrastructure. Conditions that could be even tougher as federal measures taper off at month's end. 21,000 people in far north Queensland are receiving JobKeeper. So they are not yet on that unemployment list. Sophie Lester, Win News. The battle for Barron River is kicking into a new gear with two candidates taking on the major parties. Renewables investment is already shaping to be a central election issue for our electorate on the gateway to two World Heritage areas. A familiar face joining the race for Barron River, promising a progressive approach to leading the electorate. The social issues, economic issues, all of these things tie together with environmental issues, so you can't really look at at just one slice of that. Mr McDonald ran for Cairns in 2017, snagging just 8.1% of the vote, the lowest margin of five candidates, but his second tilt advocating for energy and manufacturing jobs could yield better results, with a slightly higher swing to the Greens in Barron River. I want to represent the place where I live and, the, and the, where my community is. I think we should be creating jobs in renewable energy so we can avoid the worst parts of climate change. The LNP candidate touting her council record to convince voters her party does have strong eco-friendly policies, promising to strike a better balance with business. Without a strong environment up here, uh, our businesses don't survive. We will be mandating uh, government-owned energy providers to actually put money back into the renewables. We're really serious about this. The sitting member today calling the LNP line laughable. Craig Crawford says while candidates are all talk, Labor is delivering. With the state government on track to meet its targets of 50% renewables by 2030. I think we need to be doing a lot more, a lot quicker. Um, and it can be done. The technology's there. All it takes is the political will. And all of the byproducts of that are 
more stable employment. Informed Medical Options Party candidate Adam Rowe wasn't available to speak on camera today. Instead, he told Win News while he's eager to improve environmental outcomes to protect our world heritage ecosystems, he believes the focus on renewables is nothing but a distraction through the economic crisis. The environment is very much still a, a major concern, uh, despite whatever else has been going on at the moment. Sophie Lester, Win News. Fireworks, a cannabis grow tent and cash are among contraband seized in the latest drug blitz on the Cassowary Coast. Ten people will face a total of 29 charges in Innisfail Magistrates Court over three weeks after seedlings and plants were recovered from properties around Innisfail. Methamphetamine and pharmaceutical tablets were also found during the raids. A 19-year-old Westcourt man and 19-year-old Goondi Hill woman are also facing eight charges, including producing and trafficking drugs. It's alleged amphetamine marijuana, THC and large sums of cash were discovered along with other items used in a commission of a crime at a Moriarty Street address yesterday. They're some of the most vulnerable members of our community. That's why the theme for the 30th National Child Protection Week is all about putting children first. 95% of children who suffer abuse and neglect are harmed by someone they know. It's why this campaign has run for three decades now. 2020, arguably the toughest one yet. With the, COVID, the impacts of COVID-19, uh, whilst there's been restrictions in, in um, our ability to engage with our clients, unfortunately the calls for our service have increased. Act for Kids is leading the way, awarded the Child Safe Organisation Prize at the Child Protection Week Awards. Child abuse and neglect is preventable and if we all work together as a community, we can create an Australia where all children can grow up safe and well. The awards recognise those who devote their lives to keeping kids safe. Thank you for this award once again and I'll be dedicating it to the children in care who hold a special place in my heart. It's the 30th annual Child Protection Week but the Minister says making child safety everybody's business has never been more important. You can find more information about getting involved on the Win News Facebook page. James Ingram, Win News. Tough new mining reforms have taken effect in Queensland with the amendments encouraging more thorough financial checks on mine lease holders. Individuals can now be disqualified from being granted or transferred a mine lease if they've been convicted of fraud. Large mineral mines are also required to have a plan showing a set timeline for when and how they plan to develop a mine and grow jobs. It's hoped the reforms will encourage new mines to be built, boosting our economy. Coming up next on Win News, communities aren't wasting time diving into the great northern cleanup. Plus, how AFL stars are soaking up their time off the field in the far north. The Masked Singer's puppet is wiggling his way on our show tonight, 6.30. 2020 is full of twists and turns, but with renowned Mitsubishi reliability, you'll always know the road ahead. Score seven years warranty and three years free servicing. That's more time to have the time of your life. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Born free to follow your heart. Lynx, smell ready. We're shaking things up, Queensland. With Containers for Change, you get 10 cents for every eligible drink container at your local container refund point. To find out where to cash in, visit containersforchange.com.au. Look around as the favourites come out, it begins. Observing with an eagle eye, mastering the art of stashing. Oh, brilliant move, Grant. Cadbury favourites. Everyone gets their favourites. Who's been sleeping in my... What happened to God Lux then, Dad? She got arrested for breaking and entering, sweetie. Still in jail today. It's so good to be going to a wedding again. Shh. Listen. Beautiful, isn't it? Jeez, I've missed that. Rediscover the road with Corolla Ascent Sport Petrol from $98 per week with Toyota Access. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. 
When your throat is swollen or painful, standard lozenges may not be enough. Call on Strepsils Extra. Its advanced formula goes beyond our standard lozenges and numbs pain fast. Ah. Strepsils Extra for an extra sore throat. We're down to the final three. And if you really want to know who they are, Woo! we're going to reveal the biggest clues of all. Finals week, biggest clue reveals, 7.30 tonight. Cairns AFL Hub is providing plenty of action for footy fans, but players are also finding ways to keep busy, enjoying far north life from within their COVID bubble. The Sydney Swans received a warm welcome to Cairns, winning their first game against Melbourne. Outstanding start for the Swans. Off the field, players are enjoying the opportunity to experience the far north with midfielder Ollie Florent leading his teammates through a meditation at Palm Cove. We got five day break between games, so um, those five days are really crucial to um, preparing your body, preparing your mind and um, getting yourself right for obviously the flight, but as well as the game. It's taken some time for the Swans players to acclimatise to tropical conditions. The difference in Cairns is it's a lot hotter and more humid, so um, probably drink a lot more water and um, get to the bench a bit more than usual. The Swans take on Carlton on the Gold Coast tonight before returning here to take on the Lions on Sunday. But they're not the only ones enjoying life in the Cairns hub. Oh, the bit of swimming. So they're only a couple of months old. Injured players from the Melbourne Demons volunteering at Cairns Aquarium. The group's loving being up here. Hot weather, um, getting a bit of a sweat up, so it's good. It's a rare opportunity for players who've spent most of the season locked in hotel rooms. We'll have all the highlights from the Demons' clash with the Dockers last night, later in sport. James Ingram, Win News. Budding Far North filmmakers will star on screen when the Understory Film Festival arrives at Munro Martin Park Lanes on November 7th. Emerging and professional applicants are able to enter their short films into the contest across several categories, including documentary, comedy and music videos. There'll even be a People's Choice Award for the most popular screening. Applications close on October 1st for high school entrants and October 6th for all other entrants. You can secure your tickets to sit back and soak up the best of our burgeoning film industry under the tropical sky from ticket link or head to council's website for more information parents and carers are being urged to develop their computer skills to help better support children at risk of cyberbullying the queensland government is investing more than four hundred thousand dollars to ensure free access to websites parent line and your town the sites offer training and resources to help families cope more than half of young Australians report they've experienced emotional distress from cyberbullying. Last year, more than 83,000 users accessed ParentLine's website to learn more about insidious bullying. The Great Northern Cleanup is underway, starting with a sweep of Ellis Beach. The month-long initiative is all about encouraging locals to help keep their communities clean and tidy. The cleanup crew is hard at work. It's as important for our ecosystem as it is rewarding for volunteers like 15-year-old Mali. When it's everybody, it seems you do a lot more, you get a lot more done, but it also feels more like you're part of something. This is the first week of September's Great Northern Cleanup, running in litter hotspots throughout our region. There's about 15 beaches that are going to be cleaned up over the next uh, month, and that will then roll into the Great Barrier Reef Cleanup and every beach has debris and litter on it, so it's good to get as much off the coastline as we can. The waste collected here at Ellis Beach will be analysed so environmental groups know what to tackle in future clean-up efforts. A lot of cigarette butts, also some food packaging and coffee cups, so just need to uh, look at where that stuff's coming from and how we can encourage good behaviour change to look after our beautiful coastline. An estimated 20 to 30 kilos of rubbish has been removed from this beach alone. When you consider cigarette butts and bottle caps, they don't weigh much. That's a lot of cigarette butts and bottle caps to get that kind of weight. The cleanup efforts will continue every weekend this month, with locals encouraged to get involved. Whenever they go out into the environment to enjoy our beaches or our oceans, just make sure that you have a look around before you leave. Pick up everything that you brought with you. Or, to put it more simply... Just pick up your rubbish and take it with you. It's not that bloody hard. James Ingram, Win News. Time to talk sport with Melissa Russell. Mel, it hasn't been a happy trip to Cairns for the Melbourne Demons. No, that's right, Link. The side's finals hopes look over after another Kazali's capitulation. And our new Cairns hockey champions. By the Sussexes of
have given back millions to British taxpayers. Tonight, 6.30. The stylish Havel H2. A globally engineered, European designed and feature packed SUV. From just 22,990 drive away. Havel H2 Auto. New car thinking. Not to after dinner. There's a glass and a half in everyone. As Queenslanders, we know our weather can be unpredictable. With RACQ Home and Contents Insurance, know you're covered, whatever comes our way, from storms, floods, fire and hail. Buy online and save. Right now, NAB's two-year fixed-rate home loan is our lowest fixed rate ever. Why now? Well, if ever people have needed more clarity around their home loan, it's today. And the more of that we can give, the more our customers can get on with life. So this home loan isn't just an historically low rate. It's far more than that. Because what is money for, if not for a home? No, more than money. Neurofens Advanced Liquid Capsules have a thin seam, which enables fast release into the body. To sort pain out fast, use Neurofens Advanced Liquid Capsules. Unleash the speed of liquid. Ford Ranger is now available with an embedded modem. And with the Ford Pass app, you can remotely start your car and warm it up before you get there. Ford Pass Connect, now available across a wide range, along with up to three years free scheduled servicing. This week, Lockie's leaving lockdown and heading back into the mansion. <laughs> Missed you so much. But first... Ladies, there is a new woman in the race for Lockie's heart. A new arrival... Oh, my God! ...will take Lockie's breath away. Beck could be the one. 7.30 Wednesday. Welcome back. The Melbourne Demons have wrapped up their trip to Cairns with back-to-back -back losses to all but end their finals hopes. Fremantle was too good under wet conditions at Cazales as Michael Walters terrorised the D's defence. Melbourne coach Simon Goodwin declaring his club needs to grow up if it wants to be title contenders. It was a wet and wild night at Cazales. Kicks it oh. down the crunch. Hughes went hard. Not the conditions we sort of planned for when we when we came up here. We thought it'd be hot, humid. The Demons needed a win to keep in touch with the eight, but it was the Dockers on target early. Right, and he delivers inside right. Melbourne finally getting it through the big sticks in the second term. For their first, struck it OK, sneaks it in by a coat of paint. As a club, I think we need to become a much more ruthless club and really grow up and... and uh, they start to perform in these type of games. Only a goal split them at half time and they traded blows early in the third. Then Michael Walters went bang bang to put the Dockers in the box seat. Hibbert in some trouble, stolen by Walters again. Second time, he's picked their pocket. He led the forward line really well. Um, he helped it function a lot better than it has in the previous few weeks and he got some reward for effort. And as the clock wound down, Adam Chera gave Cairns a highlight to remember. Back to Chera, and he oh! has picked one of the goals of the season. That's off the scale. Frio icing it in style at the death to seal a 14-point win. I think we had 22 guys that just executed their role for the team and, um, yeah, committed to the contest all night. Disappointing five days. You know, we put ourselves into a position uh, where we could really start to improve and challenge, and you know, we've lost two games um, in tough conditions. Dane Delingston, Win News. Former Maroon star Cohen Hess has been dropped for North Queensland's clash with Melbourne. Despite being free to play following a crusher tackle suspension, the Cowboys have named an unchanged side to take on the storm. Interim coach Josh Hannay questioning today whether Hess's origin selection in 2017 came too soon. Coming off the Golden Point victory... Coach Josh Hannay was all smiles today. Yeah, we actually just threw a big party in there because it's the first time all year we've been able to 
name the same squad. But one who isn't laughing dropped forward Cohen Hess. Hannay acknowledging his development may have hit a wall. Maybe he was thrown into Origin before he really earned it. There's a lot came Cohen's way early in his career, um, which may have created you know, uh, pressure and to, to live up to that, that hype. The forward was expected to return after a week suspended for a crusher tackle. The coach says his last outing against the Sharks simply wasn't good enough. He's still really young and still got you know, so much in front of him and he's got such a high ceiling, Cohen, so we just got to make sure we're working to, to ensure that he, he fulfills his potential. Jason Tamalolo could be in line to return next week, but we may have seen the last of Michael Morgan this season. With only three games left, the club's hoping last round's win is finally a step in the right direction. Edge Hill has been given a late scare by rivals Southside, but the Tigers remain comfortable FNQ football ladder leaders. The reigning champions were dominant early, with Josh Taylor opening the scoring to give them the lead into the break. <laughs> A couple of penalties kept the Comets in the game and they had their chances, but in the end, Edge Hill held on for a 3-2 win. Around the grounds, Innisvale and Mariba split the points while Leichard put on an attacking masterclass against Marlin Coast. Saints have ended South's hopes of a third consecutive Cairns hockey title, downing the defending Premiers 2-1. It marked the club's first Premiership in five years, the perfect send-off for coach Peter Swain. Saints have dominated this year's season and almost got off to a perfect start in the grand final. But they didn't waste their second shot, Simon Borgia putting his men in front. But I couldn't speak more highly of our boys. It's been a year where the, the work they've done and the preparation they've done has just been phenomenal. South fought hard in reply and should have drawn level. With the lead at half time, Mitch Birch struck off for Saints through another short corner. South pulled one back at the death, courtesy of Dean Butler. But it wasn't enough. Saints clinching the title with a 2-1 victory. Ah, uh, it feels like a million dollars. This is my swan song. Um, I'm now officially retired, uh, so it's a pretty good way to walk away from a game that I've loved so much and put so much into. So all these young blokes had to play bulk minutes tonight and they, brought, they all stepped up. So it's not the result we're after, but just proud of the effort, mate. Meanwhile, brothers under 18's girls went down to the wire in their grand final clinching the title with a 3-1 win in a penalty shootout. <laughs> Dane Lillingston, Win News. And Link, that is another night of sport. Excellent, Mel. Thank you. Time to talk weather details now. Some very patchy cloud cover and strong coastal winds for Cairns diminishing through this week. I'll have the full forecast for you up next. This week, Lockie's leaving lockdown and heading back into the mansion. I missed you so much. But first... Ladies, there is a new woman in the race for Lockie's heart. A new arrival... Oh, my God! ...will take Lockie's breath away. Beck could be the one. 7.30 Wednesday. Simply amazing. Open for lunch and dinner, seven days. Oka, waterfront dining, Harbour Light Scans. Your local Aussie-owned Pedders is open for business. Head in for a Pedders brake steering and suspension check. Just $28 provides you peace of mind and a comprehensive no-obligation report. Straight advice, specialists you understand and no bull. Fees are your primary form of transport. Keep them pain-free. FNQ Podiatry and Orthotics may be able to help you get back on your feet. After hours and Saturday appointments are available. FNQ Podiatry and Orthotics, a fresh perspective for far north Queensland. Auto paint and accessories at Wholesale Paint Group. DIY but from spray. Get the best results when you do it our way. 80 on Muller Street, Portsmouth. Wholesale Paint Group. The MG ZS has all the essentials. Style, 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, rear view sensing camera and plenty of room. From only 21990 drive away, it's more value for less at MG. Offer ends soon. 
Do you feel trapped by asthma? Ask your GP if it's time to review today. game at Macca's is here, and it feels so good to be back with our biggest prize pool ever. You could peel your way to over one million Big Mac burgers, a new Volkswagen T-Cross, and shopping vouchers for the iconic in Ulsdale. Peel, play, and win at Macca's today. Welcome back to Wind News. It's weather time. A few light showers about our region today following more falls overnight. Winds were strong too, gusting to almost 60 kilometres per hour in Low Isles just before midday. Cairns peaked at 29 degrees around 1pm, but the apparent temperature felt more like 23. That's more like it. And 20 the low for South Johnston. That's more than three degrees above the monthly average. On the satellite shot, a high over the Tasman Sea extends a firm ridge over eastern Queensland. So on the synoptic chart, a weak trough will move into the southwest of our state tomorrow and will remain slow moving over the southern interior. On our waters tomorrow, southeasterly winds up to 25 knots, seas up to 2.5 metres on an easterly swell of 2 metres. A look at your forecast now. Another partly cloudy day coming up. There's a high chance of showers near the coast and a medium chance elsewhere. Winds will be east to southeasterly up to 35 kilometres per hour. 20 at the top for Cooktown. That is the hottest of the mob. 25s and 26s for the maxes south of Cairns and 21 the top for Atherton. That's the coolest of the mob as per usual. For Cairns tomorrow, more showers ahead. 27 the top, 20 overnight tonight. For the days ahead though, a drizzly start to Thursday followed by a mostly sunny afternoon. Friday's looking fine, the mercury headed for 28 and on Saturday a few more clouds should roll in bringing just the slight chance of a shower for the weekend. Moving into next week, minimums staying around that 20 degree mark and maximums staying around that 28, 29 degree mark. That is all for the weather and the bulletin. Thank you so much for your company. Remember you can always follow us and give us a like on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with your local breaking news all the time. Back on your telly tomorrow night at 6 as well. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, Regional Australia's number one news source.